I am Anil Kumar and in this set of videos we are going to explore quadratic equation and find how many real roots can we get from the given quadratic equation. In general a quadratic equation could be written as y equals to ax square plus bx plus c and for any quadratic equation we can always find the value of the variable x by using quadratic formula and the formula is x equals to minus p plus minus within square root let me write this term in red b square minus 4ac divided by 2a now this is the formula which is used to find the roots of any quadratic equation now the question here is how many roots how many real roots will a quadratic equation have now when the question is how many real roots right then we don't really have to find the real roots question is how many real roots in that case we don't have to find real roots we have to only give an answer that is whether the number of roots is 0 it is 1 or 2 that is what the number of roots we are interested in. so how many real roots that means we are interested in number of real roots right not the value of number of real roots this is what our interest is when the question is kind of like this do you understand so in that case what we have to do is we have to analyze b square minus 4ac and this b square minus 4ac is such a important part here that we have a special name for it and the name is we call it discriminant by analyzing whether this discriminant is negative zero or positive we can actually find out how many real roots will any quadratic equation have right so if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 that means if it is positive or positive then the number of roots are 2 if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 right that means equal to 0 right then the number of roots are just 1 but if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 or negative in that case number of real roots are 0 or none no roots right why is that so if b square minus 4ac is negative then within the square root sign you'll have negative number for a negative number you can't find square root the result is going to be imaginary right so in that case what we get is imaginary roots not real right so these are not real right if b square minus c 4ac is 0 in that case this part is 0 so we are left with only one root and the value is minus b by 2a so the root in this case will be minus b by 2a right just one root and if it is positive then the radical sign will give us two values corresponding to two different roots and so we get two different roots right so that is the basic which we all understand now we will analyze quadratic equations in different forms and then generalize some of our results in this particular video let me begin by assuming that b is 0 so we have the same equation y equals to ax square plus bx plus c but I have one condition here and this time I'm assuming b to be equal to 0 if b is 0 then the equation becomes y equals to ax square plus c now the question is when well we have same question two roots 
two roots means two real roots okay when we'll have one real root or when will we have zero real root that is the question you have to tell me for what values of c can we get two roots one real root or zero real root now in this particular situation let us check the discriminant discriminant is b square minus 4ac now here b is 0 since b is 0 we can always write this as 0 minus 4ac now for our cases a and c could be positive or negative and they will yield different values so it could be 0 positive or negative correct so from here we get different conditions right since this is 0 we land up with discriminant let me call this discriminant with capital letter D so I'll use capital letter D for discriminant so what we have here is is discriminant let me write here D as equal to minus 4 a c right since 0 minus 4 AC is 4 AC now in this case we could have different conditions now how can we say whether we will have no roots one root or two roots now that is the question for you to answer so let us check if we have same sign for a and c so if we have same sign for a and c right that means a and c are both positive or both of them are negative in that case what happens to d if both are positive then minus 4 ac will be negative positive positive and positive so we'll get negative d will be equals to a negative value if both are negative then also we'll have three negatives it will give us negative value do you get the idea so in this case if sign of both a and c are same in that case discriminant will be negative and if discriminant is negative how many roots do you get no real roots right so we get zero real roots okay now second condition could be that the signs are opposite a and c signs are opposite signs right so we'll write opposite signs if a and c signs are opposite in that case what happens in that case the value of discriminant will be positive right so d is going to be positive since discriminant will be positive we will get two real roots do you agree with me right so that is how we can figure it out now the third case could be that c is equal to 0 right c could be 0 now we are not taking the case when a is 0 because if a is 0 then it is no more a quadratic equation right so so a is not equal to 0 because we are walk, talking about quadratic equations right so a cannot be 0 a could be 1 but not 0 but c could be 0 if c is 0 in that case discriminant is going to be 0 and in that case how many roots are we going to get we are going to get just one root right so one real solution or one real root correct so that is how we can summarize the results for a quadratic equation in which the value of b is 0 to give you some examples now we know it right so let me write down a few examples and you can write down their answers we could have y equals to 2x square minus 3 we could have y equals to x square plus 1 we could have y equals to minus half x square minus 2 correct or we could also have y equals to 3x square do you get the point now in this case a and c have opposite signs since they have opposite signs we expect two roots here they have the same signs both are one positive right 
So same science means no real roots. Same science means no real roots. C is zero. That means one root and of course the root is zero. The x value of zero will give us the answer. Do you get the idea now, right? So that is how we can summarize and with the help of such examples, we can actually check whether our conjecture is right or wrong. I hope this really helps you to understand the basic concept. Now we'll talk about what happens when C is zero in the next video. Thank you and all the best. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you.